Okay, hello. Um, I got a request on um how to use RSBot. Now, what I did, I found another version of RSBot called PRSBot for Pieces RSBot, and um, I can uh give you the SVN look link to that if you want it and it does not have any script so you've got to find script for it it does have better randoms it completes most of them and it uh works really well so i'm going to show you how to do prs bot instead cuz for some reason my rs bot's not working right all right so basically what you've got you've got your uh, block user input so now I can't click around. I can't move my guy. Once it's green, I can control him, move him around, do whether resume script, turn script on, uh, pause like that. Like right now, I paused it. I'll resume it, and uh, it'll go back to work. <coughs> All right, now help forms obviously brings you to forms. Now download script. I don't know if it works. But yes, it brings you to the PRS bot form, and right over here, you guys can't see it because the way I got the thing set up. But there's a thing that says uh script database and stuff. You gotta sign up for that though, and get five posts and become a contributor, and it it takes a while, but it's worth it. They've got a pretty decent size database for scripts. Download scripts. Instructions. Wow, okay. Here are instructions. Yeah. We'll just make it a little easier by troubleshooting about. Now, debug is pretty confusing. Debug helps you to make script and, like, edit scripts. And some scripts ask you for, um,. Item IDs and stuff like that, and this is where you get them all. For uh, an item ID, you're gonna click item, and then any items on screen, which I don't think there are any. No items on screen, but little numbers appear over them. And then um, inventory does your inventory. See now my inventory has those are the item IDs for all. It's PRS and a, a room pick. So then, <coughs> paint, all paint debug is everything from this little line right here up to this little line, so right here. Settings just brings up a giant thing on your screen. It's, I don't even know what it's for. Player puts a little, puts everyone's name over their head. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool. It can help sometimes. Objects obvi obviously does objects, which like bank booths, uh, trees, and stuff like that. NPCs is like obviously NPCs. Um, shows them as man, like if they're a specific type of man. There's a man, woman, stuff like that. You know, you can just use those. Then um, the text ones do how fast your guys moving, the floor height log login index i'm not sure what that one is menu action that's like if you hold your mouse over something and you, when you use your right click i'll just show you see right up here walk here cancel examine so if i hold my mouse over this i can uh wield the room pickaxe mm, scripts going so it's going to be hard um other stuff like that <coughs> then um Mouse position shows you the position of the mouse player position. Input allow, that's just puts up a little thing right here that says, yes, you input is allowed. No, it is not. It's kind of pointless when you can just look right here and do the same exact thing. <coughs> Character movement. I don't know what that is, but I don't know. Mess around with it. Server messages is when uh, I turn that on, and anything that pops up right here, anything 
shows down here. So like in your logs, it's showing your logs and stuff. And that can be helpful sometimes. Same thing with the all all uh text debugging everything like that. Actual mouse position is actual mouse position. Okay. Now for compile. Compile all obviously compiles all. Now that's going to compile script randoms and anti bands. You can add more scripts or randoms or anti bands later if you want. <coughs> obviously compile script compiles only script randoms only randoms anti bands only anti bands you know so you don't have to wait for everything to load if you've got like 30 or 40 scripts now account obviously account you know stuff like that use less cpu that would be f sorry that would be for like um if you're going to run other programs in the background you'd want to use less CPU so uh, your other programs aren't as laggy now we get to this reload uh, reload plugins that's if you um put new script in and you compile it but it doesn't show up in your database you reload the plugins and then it should show up and if it doesn't then you did something wrong with installing the script Enable disable anti bands. You can turn off brake handler. Would not recommend that. You might get caught. I haven't. I've turned it off a couple of times, but mm, just be safe. I'd leave it on. These are all your randoms, anti randoms. Don't turn any off, even if they screw start screwing up, because if it screws up, then the bot's like, oh well, it's screwing up, so log off. Resume pause. Same thing as the pause script over there. Stop, obviously stop, run is obviously run. Now, move this over. See, I went through and I got a bunch of scripts because I am a contributor at prsbot. I think it's org. And uh, there's a whole bunch that I have. You can get more by going to you may get more by going to the prsbot.org and downloading them there <coughs> ask around join um you've got pieces you can talk to uh zz sleep zz um there's some other ones phil used to be there not anymore he's a dick he put porn on there it was kind of cool though <laughs> Then, just ask on this little chat box that you can chat with. You got any questions, you can ask them or me. They probably know some more, but, you know, whatever works. I hope this helps, and uh, I hope you switch over to PRSBot. All script that comes with uh, regular RSBot will work in PRSBot, so if you want to just, like, take the script folder and put it in this one, it everything will work. So... That's it. Good luck, body. If you have any questions or future video requests, please email me at theovlet at gmail.com with a subject of YouTube, or I will not get your email.